Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to our channel. Today's session we are going to discuss about stack IO machine control group instruction. Okay, so it's a lost group of uh, instruction 8085. So previous video we discussed in remaining four uh, groups of uh, instructions. Okay, so today's session we are going to discuss about stack IO machine control group. Okay, so what is stack? So in this stack function, you are just transferring the data from some other specified register to stack register or stack pointer to some other specified register just to transferring the content between the two registers so one register is a specified register another one is a it must be a stack register okay next one IO so IO function it's based on the port value okay so input port or output port you are just getting the data from outside to inside the microprocessor or otherwise the after execution of this microprocessor, the result is stored in the accumulator content. Okay, that accumulator content is passed to the outside of microprocessor. Okay, so these two functions we are using the input and output port functions. Next one is machine control. So these kind of instructions just controlling the machine operations. Okay, so that and all we discussed one by one. The first instruction is stack instruction. In this stack instructions, we have comes under the four instruction push b and pop b and xt hr and sp hr okay so xt hr means just uh, exchanging the content between the hr, HR pair and stack pointer okay the next type is io so in this io functions we are using the two instructions in and out okay you get the input or otherwise uh, you send the output data next uh, final one is a machine control group so in this group you are using two instruction nop and halt instruction okay let us see one by one the first one push b okay so generally push means just insert the content okay so insert the content to the stack pointer so here b register is considered as a 16 bit register so here you take it as bc pair okay so in the instruction itself you mentioned the b register so b register i am considering the 16 bit register so i am taking bc pair okay so whatever content present in bc pair so that content is transferred to the stack pointer okay so before execution whatever value present in bc pair so that value is transferred to the stack point okay so bc pair register is a 16 bit value I am considering this value. So C register hold FE, B register hold 41. So it's a hold 16 bit value. So it's a pair register. Okay. The arrangement of stack. This is the arrangement of stack. Okay. So normally the stack pointer point the top of the stack. So it's the top of the stack. Okay. So whatever value present in BC register that value is transferred to the stack pointer okay so first you move the higher order bit so after execution of this instruction the b register containing 41 so this value first move to the stack okay so just top of the stack here mentioned so you subtract by one so reduce one bit value so in this address location you can move the B value. So now the 41 is moved to the stack pointer. So it's represent SP minus 1. Okay. So next is C value. So C value is a FE. So this value is transferred to the successive next location. Okay. The FE. So FE is moved to here. So it represents SP minus 2. So SP is a address location of stack stack pointer so that value is minus one you can get the location so this location you can move the b register value to here then again one more time you reduce the count of stack pointer address location the fe is transferred to the next location okay so it's a push operation just insert the content whatever content specified in the register so this value is transferred to the stack pointer okay next one pop so pop b okay so it's a just a reverse function so push means insert the content to stack pointer 
so pop instruction just retrieve the content from stack pointer to the specified register okay so here also i consider 16 bit value so here i am taking this bc pair register okay so whatever value present in the stack pointer that value is moved to bc pair okay so in this stack pointer value is transferred to the bc pair register okay so before execution the stack pointer value so it's a stack pointer value so i am taking two values ef and 0e okay there are two values i am loading here then it's a bc pair register so now here we take it as two values these two values are stored in the stack pointer the first value is 0eh so this 0eh is moved to c so 0eh okay so next it's a stack pointer current location then you need a one more value b value so that value you get sp plus 1 okay now increment the address location of stack pointer so in this location whatever value present this value is transferred to b register so ef this value is transferred to b okay so it's a concept of pop and push so push means just insert the content from the specified register to stack pointer so pop instruction whatever content present in stack pointer that content is transferred to the specified register next to third one xt h okay so this instruction is a exchange so exchange the content between the stack pointer and virtual pair so in 8 bit register exchange so exchange represent the exchange the content here the exchange function performing between the stack pointer and also virtual pair register okay so here you consider the stack pointer the stack pointer is a 16 bit value i consider as fe and 0f okay hr pair register so this hr pair register also 16 bit here i am considering 0f 8f okay so stack pointer also 16 bit and hr register also 16 bit okay just exchanging the two contents okay so this 8f is more here 0f is more here then 0f more here fe more here so it's before execution after execution of this instruction 8f is more here 0f higher bit it's a stack pointer content hl pair content so whatever value present in stack pointer that value just transfer to hl so fe and 0 f exchange the content so in this instruction involving the stack pointer and also hl pair register the next one fourth one is sp hl okay so it's a sp hl whatever content present in hl so that content is transferred to the stack pointer before execution of this instruction stack pointer it's a 16 bit register here store the 16 bit value hl pair it also store the 16 bit value 8070 so after execution of this instruction just transferring the content from hl pair to stack pointer so after execution the stack pointer maintain 8070 hl pair made the same value because here just copying the value of hl pair not cut the value the next instruction in so this instruction you can rewrite in 63h okay so this 63h is the address location of the port okay so in this address location whatever data is transfer to the accumulator okay so the function a gives in 63h okay so in this 63h is the input port whatever value 
transfer so whatever value carry in the input port that value is transferred to the accumulator for example in this 63 which is the address location of the port so in this port carry 0e so this value is transferred to accumulator okay the next one sixth one is out so this out instruction you can rewrite out 64 hertz so this 64 hertz is the address location of the port okay so the function of the instruction a out 64 hertz so whatever value present in accumulator so after execution of any function the result is stored in the accumulator register okay if you want to display the accumulator result to the led or lcd display okay so in this case you are using the out 64 hertz instruction okay so whatever value present in accumulator for example the accumulator value is 7e so this value is transfer through the output 64 hertz so in this port seventh one NOP so NOP for no operation so in this instruction not performing any function okay so this instruction is mainly used to create a delay so create a delay between the execution of this instruction okay for example i'm right here on small program a comma b move a comma b move c comma d n o p n o p at c okay so here we are writing the two first two instruction getting the data okay so first instruction the b register content is moved to a register then d register content is moved to c register so the third instruction and fourth fourth instruction is a nop okay so nop this instruction is a no operation they are performing no functions okay just creating a delay okay so this instruction the execution time is 4p okay so after the a time cycle only you can add the content of c register and a register so these two instruction mainly used to create a delay so next one last instruction is halt okay so this halt instruction is mainly used to the end of the program so end of the program program only used in the halt instruction okay the microcontroller or microprocessor understand this instruction so after execution of the halt instruction the program counter value is not incremented okay the pc value is not incremented so there are no instructions present in the program so that only indicate in halt instruction so far we discussed stack io and machine control group instruction so in this instruction comes under the stack four instructions four examples over there push b pop b and xt hr sp hr then io function in and out machine control nop and halt instructions okay so th thanks for watching my channel please subscribe my channel thank you